Good morning students. In this video class, I am going to teach about on an interesting topic, uh, triple as return values. Okay. Here, what special in this topic means, if you are see all the other programming languages, and till now what you learned about the function concept, where we are using return statement, function, right? So, in all the programming languages, in the functions, always it will return only one value. The function should return a value, only one value at a time, okay. But in Python, there is one special feature called, the function can return multiple values at a time, with the help of this tuple, okay. As there is a tuple data type in Python, the <coughs> Python functions can able to return multiple values at a time. That's only we are going to I am going to teach you here, okay. So, triple as return values. That means, if there is a need to return multiple values, whenever you want to return your multiple values, then we can use triples, okay. So, I will say, I will uh, explain with the example, so you will get the clear idea, okay. Here, uh, three examples are here. The first two examples are written in the form of using the predefined function and this was written by user defined function okay so one more thing i want to make you remember function with return type is known as fruitful functions all the predefined function or built in functions are fruitful functions right so here this div mod first of all i explain this div mod div mod is the d i v m o d div division mod modulus division okay it's a predefined function used to give two outputs. One is quotient, that is division quotient, and another one is modulus, that is remainder. So, it's a function used to return two values. It's a predefined function used to return the quotient value as well as remainder value. This function return two values, okay. So, here how many values are re uh, required, how many inputs required to perform division, two inputs are required to perform division. So, I am under two values, two input I got it. A, int input of is a function to get the integer input, B is the another integer input. For example, 10, 3. Then answer equal to, here only one variable I am using, equal to div mod is the predefined function, predefined function used to perform to perform division, right? So, 10 divided by 3. 3 3 is are 9. And the remainder is 1. Your quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. So, inside this answer, what are the, I already told, div mode gives two output. One is quotient, another one is remainder. So, here the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. So, inside this 3, what are the values are here? Inside this 3, we are having the value 3 comma 1. Two inputs, quotients and output. Now I am printing result equal to answer. So, in the previous video class, I explained any collection, for example, 1 comma 3 comma 2, A equal to like that, any collection in default is called as triple. Without bracket, any collection is there means triple. So, in default here, 3 comma 1, 2 numbers are there, it's a collection. So, it is considered as a tuple and it will give the output 3 comma 1, okay. The next one is uh, second type, tuple assignment, okay. In the second unit itself, I already thought we uh, teach you what is tuple assignment. Tuple assignment is used to assign multiple results in separate values. What is that? The second unit I thought you right, if you want to assign multiple values to multiple variables. For example, A, B, two variables are there, 10, 10, D, two values are there. In the single line, you can be able to assign this 10 and 20 to A and B. That is triple assignment, okay. So, here also for this triple assignment concept, we need two, we need two inputs, right. So, A, B, two inputs I am getting as a input. Both are the integer input. Here also, I am using the same predefined 
or build in function division mod div mod so it will gives the output quotient as well as remainder this function will return two values for saving this for storing this two values here i am using two variables so for example the previous i explain you right 10 divided by 3 your quotient is 3 the answer the answer which is written here is 3 comma 1 so this 3 will be assigned for this quotient and this 3 will be assigned for this remainder two answers it will return the first answer will be written to the first variable second answer will be assigned to the second variable so here in the single variable i stored the collection here i splitted the collection and stored in the different variables with the help of triple assignment this is triple assignment here, right here what's the, what are the two values 3 comma 1 is your output so 3 is stored for two values at a time stored for two variables so 3 is assigned for quotient and 1 is assigned for remainder now I am printing quotient equal to we are getting the answer 3 and remainder equal to whatever present in the double quotes printed like this and the variable value should be this is the variable inside the variable the value will be there that will be printed here and the third example is using user defined function here I use div mod predefined function here I use the user defined function to perform the triple as return values ok so here I am going to perform uh, to find a rectangle to f area of rectangle area of square and area of triangle I am going to find it so what are the inputs required for finding the area of rectangle you need length birth two inputs for finding the area of square we need one variable right area ok then what are the other things for calculating the area again area of triangle again answer is formula is of bh again we need two variables ok so here I am using user defined function this is the function definition ok and this is the main program where is the starting position of the program the starting position of the program is here your function started with the keyword dev and ended with the keyword return so your main program started here see here a1 comma a2 comma a3 here also i am using a triple assignment three variables a1 a2 a3 equal to shapes of so what is this shapes just check out your program anywhere the bracket function is here yes it's a function call to call the function definition this shapes okay shapes is a function call so it will call the function definition here I am getting the input for I already told for calculating the area of triangle length breadth two input for calculating the uh, triangle we need breadth and height for calculating the area we need one input so all the inputs I am getting here L equal to enter the length then B in the input of enter the breadth H in the input of enter the height then in the input of enter the side so all are integer inputs that's what we are using in the input so these things should be displayed in the output screen if we see the output here it will show under the length for example you are giving 2 then in the input of birth you are giving 2 then uh, for example height you are giving 4 then side you are giving 4 okay these are the inputs you are given now you have to calculate everyone know the formula right for finding the area of rectangle length into breadth what is length into breadth l means 2 2 into 2 what's the answer 4 so inside the rectangle inside the rectangle 4 is here again square what's a what's the variable of a the variable a holds the value 4 so square equal to a into a that is 4 into 4 the answer is 16 16 is 
saved in the variable S Q U. Again, for area of triangle of B H, what is B H? B is 2, H is H is 4. So 4 to the 8. 8 divided by 2, we will get the answer 4. So for calculating the rectangle, area of rectangle, area of triangle and area of square, I am getting all the inputs. After getting the inputs, using the formula I calculated. Now here I am using triple as written values. See written, how many, vari how many values I am returning? Three vary values at a time. Inside the rectangle 4 is there, inside the square 16 is there, inside the triangle again 4 is there. Three values I am returning. So what the return will do? Return will return the values back to the function call. So where the function call is there? The same is the function call. So a1 equal to a2 equal to a1 comma a2 comma a3 equal to 4 comma 16 comma 4. Now here I am using a triple assignment. Here how many values are there? Three values. Three values are assigned to these three variables. That means what are the values there? 4, 16, 4. This first value is assigned for the first variable. And the second value is assigned for the second variable. And the third value is assigned for the third variable. Now, inside the A1, 4 is there. Inside the A2, 16 is there. Inside the A3, again 4. Now, in all the variables, values are stored. Now, I want to print. So, rectangle, area of rectangle is stored in A1. Area of square is stored in A2. Area of triangle is stored in A3. So, I want to print the output. Print. So, whatever present in the double quotes will be displayed in the output. In the output screen, it will display area of rectangle equal to, what is A1? A1 is now 4. Area of rectangle equal to 4. Then area of square. Inside the A2, what's the value is there? 16. Then area of triangle, 4. This is your output. So this is one of the different concepts which is present in your Python programming. I hope you understand students. Thank you.